Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. Continuing from where we left off, we had just emerged victorious. I want to say uh, sorry I made that last one a little short. Like I said, I, in, the, in the last video, I didn't use my timer. This time I've got it going, so I know how to exactly how long my video will be. So let's continue with what we were doing. Yes, Rosie's a very cheerful, cheerful, very cheerful person. Alright, what you want now, big boy? Uh oh. The ill wind blows. Hmm. What does that mean? Spoil spores. Hey! But you butt liquor. Knocked away our wheat. Storm is the curse, is the source of the spoil spores. Stop them from breathing in the air. Now we have to be quick. Because, you know, they're timed. So we need to grab some blocks. And then do this. Just encase it. And look, we get a wheat seed. Yes, Rosie, I know there's four of them left. down real quick because we want to the only thing we really had to worry about that was in danger was our crops now if they in ended up in if these ended up going off like right here that's fine we just throw down a scarecrow and have Wrigley convert it back into fresh soil And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> That's funny. We got a spoil spore like right there. Ah, when you're building a building, sometimes the, the spoil spores will pop up in the weirdest places. And that's all of them. Now, you don't have to worry about any new ones popping up on your farm. But every so often, you know, this is your first introduction to the ill wind. Now, every so often, at a certain point in the game, you will have uh, the ill wind blow. Then you'll have to, like, really go around your farm and see, like, huh, where's the spoil spores at? Now, when it does happen, they actually will, they actually have to grow into the big spore thing you see. Look at there, the sky's clearing. They'll start off as a small little sprout and then they'll grow to the big stage. And then you'll have so long after that before they explode. So. If they're like on your, if they're like on top of your buildings or whatnot, Anywhere that's 
you know, that can't be turned into spoiled soil. Basically, worry about your crops first. Sowing the seeds of success part two. Grow lots of crops. You must grow crops of five different varieties. But that is not <sighs> Sorry guys. But that is not all. These five crops must cover a total of 250 squares of soil within the farm's boundaries. You may need to search the island thoroughly to find the different types of seeds you will require. Yep. Five different crops. We've already got cabbage and wheat. So we need three more. <laughs> you would be glad to join us. My name is Al. You may call me Pasture Al. Yeah, you're very pasture looking. With the evil demonic looking bat on your robes. He really, he really, he really has the pasture look, doesn't he? <laughs> Uh, big festival. Let the mission begin. Ready. Oh, we hear a dog. Let's get these planted. Now we have over 102. Okay, let's put these back in here. Have something to eat. And let's go ring our builder's bell. Pour all the gratitude into it, and with a mighty whack, ding, ding. Love this. Dun, 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 dun. Base level three. The residents become specialists at sowing seeds. And we get more people. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Eureka! More recipes. Vertical log, sharpened log, horizontal log, plank pathway, basic bridge, wood doormat, porched window, arched window, simple bench, nameplate, and some bunting. what they sow. Ah, now we can designate the fields. When you want to grow a specific crop, examine a scarecrow and select the one you want. Put some seeds of the same type in a nearby chest and the residents will sow them for you. Now, when we put, like it said, like we put seeds in a chest, they'll put them in the fields automatically, isn't it? Once again, blah blah blah, they're children of Hargon. After a brief persuasion, they decide to join us. Like I said a couple of videos ago, that's how it always goes. After a brief argument, they I mean, people immediately it's like uh, people immediately abandon the children of Hargon. We get two more farmers. So now that we got them, our farmers' lodge over here is kind of crowded. So, what does that call for? But making a new building. So let's see. Go for a straw. Let's see, wood tile. Ion. We're gonna make this house a little fancy. So we need the door. And, uh, since we acquired windows... Let's make... 45 of them. Yep. And one of the things we took from the farm, as you can already tell... The ruined farm where we picked up Clayton... Was the roofing. 
So let's get all these replaced with windows. See, if you're quick enough, you don't. The rooms won't like despawn. Is what they are. And as you see, I threw down the fat rat sign, and it reads "Hargon be gone." <laughs> I figured I'd go for a little rhyming. And there. Now we don't have enough roof- I don't think we have enough roofing to roof this off, which sucks. But once we level up once more, we should get the roofing tiles. Because you don't get the ability to make roofs until you get to max base level, which, which is weird. So let's see, we needed some more straw, so let's grab some more of that. Let's see, we will throw down it right about here. Let's see, how far can we go this way? Okay, so about there it looks like. Yeah, that's the edge. So, as you can see, that's about the edge of the build. So, we'll actually bring it in one. Because we want to make sure our villagers do use it. So, we'll increase its size a little bit. Start plonking down our floor. I'll get to the dog in a second. up this earth. Place down the door. See, I like to use... I'll use the... We'll get a little fancy in the design of this one. Let's actually expand it. Just one. that. No, you don't go there. Pick the door back up. Down you go. We use these wood, hardwood tiles as our nice corners. No. And we'll use, once again, we'll use the floorboards to make the nice walls. Because I really like the darkness of the floorboards. So, three, three high. Alrighty. Then We'll make this one look nice compared to the others. Alrighty. Uh, window. Let's actually rearrange that. There. Normally when your dogs are barking, you can tell them to be quiet. Unfortunately, the dog in this game, you can't say that. And it listen to you. And it's like, be quiet! There. That looks nice. So let's... Get this. Now we will use the straw flooring Oops. to make a roof. So 
so let's go like this. Go around. Alrighty. Well, actually, yeah, we need to leave one layer in. And then a layer like this. Oops, nope, not there. And down this goes. And we will finish off this like this. Kind of reminds me of, like the old rustic buildings. You'd see in video games with like a thatch roof. It's basically kind of what that is. So throw down some lights. There we go. Little bedroom. So then we need some farming tools and some firewood and some more bedding. So let's get to making that. So, two more bedding. Some more farming tools. And two more stacks of firewood. Move that out the way, move that there. And we'll place these here. Firewood can go there. Farming tools can go there. There, now we got a small farmer's bedroom. Nice. I'll probably... Hmm. Actually... I think it'd look better if we took, like, these corner pieces off. Yeah, I actually think that looks a little, that looks a little bit better. We'll have a, this will probably be my last video for the day. And uh, I'll look at the, I'll look closely at like this little house and I might, I might decide to change it. Yeah, if I do, I'll do that like off camera. We'll see how I, as, as a, as I go around and look at it, I'll decide if, like, if that's what I truly want, if I, like, you know, it's like, yeah, that'll work. Or if I decide, eh, let's change it. So let's put all this back in here. Chest is full. So let's take that out. Put that in there. I'm gonna go put this rope. We'll just put it in here. We we'll examine this chest, and as you can see, we got more kelp and scallywinkles in there. But almost out of time. We'll finish up by talking to the dog and seeing what he wants. Basically, this dog will help lead us to the seeds we need. Miss some weight over here. Go put that in our chest. But guys, I think that'll about do it for this episode. Thank y'all for joining me here in Dragon Quest. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Yep. Goodbye!